Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install XAMPP on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for XAMPP. And the first link which will appear here will be from apachefriends.org forward slash download, right? So I'm going to click on uh, this link. If you land on the homepage of apachefriends.org, then on the home page itself, you can also see this uh, download link for Windows, Linux or Mac OS. So we are going to choose the Windows option here. And here, once you click on the Windows option, hopefully the download of this XAMPP server will start. And if it doesn't start, then you can see this message. It says your download will start automatically. And if it doesn't, click here. So generally what I have observed is when you click on this link directly the download doesn't start. So you need to click on this click here link here and then you will see this kind of sourceforge.net web page and from here click on windows option here and then click on the top link which is uh, 8.2.12 at the time of making this video and then click on the link which have the highest number of uh, downloads, which is this one, right? So I'm going to click on XAMPP Windows Installer.exe here, which is going to download this exe file. And now I can see that this XAMPP file, uh, exe file is being downloaded. So just wait for the download to complete. So once this exe file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this file and then click on this exe file here. And then let me minimize my browser here. And first of all, you will see this kind of message which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? Click on yes here. And then you can see, and then you can see this kind of uh, warning. And it says important because an activated user account control on your system, some functions of XAMPP are possibly restricted. So we are going to click on okay here for now. And then you can see the setup has been started. Now I'm going to just click on next here. And then uh, these are the tools which will be installed with the XAMPP server. Just leave it as default and then click on next here. This will be the location where XAMPP will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, leave it as default and then click on next. And then you can choose the language. I will choose English for now and then click on next. And then click on next once again, which is going to start the installation of XAMPP. Also in the middle of the installation, you can see this kind of uh, message also. It says Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some features of this app. Uh, I can just leave it as default, which is public network and then click on allow access. And then I can see that it says completing the XAMPP setup. Also, it says, do you want to start the XAMPP control panel now? So, so just leave this checkbox as checked and then click on finish which is going to launch the XAMPP control panel. And you can see the XAMPP control panel has been started and you can see this XAMPP control panel icon here also. From now on, you can also uh, open XAMPP by just uh, searching for XAMPP here and then you will find the XAMPP app here also. So once XAMPP uh, opens, you can see all the services are uh, not running so to run a service just click on start in front of it and then it's going to start that service for example if i want to start apache you can just click on start and then apache is started on the port 80 and 443 you can see here you can also start mysql in a similar way and here it says once again this windows defender firewall has blocked something so click on allow access here and it's going to just start the mysql server also now in the case of mysql i can see this error which says mysql shut down unexpectedly and this may be due to blocked port or missing dependencies or improper privileges so to solve this problem let's try a few uh, method or few solutions what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this control panel for now. And then I'm going to uh, right click on this icon and then click on quit here and then click on OK here. So once that uh, XAMPP app is fully closed, I'm going to click on this uh, start icon and then search for XAMPP 
once again and then I'm going to click on run as administrator here so click on run as administrator and then click on yes and once XAMPP starts I'm going to try again right so I'm going to start uh, running Apache and then I'm going to start uh, the MySQL and it's going to show me this uh, message which says do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device I'm going to click on yes here and now this time it's running so if this MySQL server doesn't run you just need to quit from uh, the XAMPP control panel and restart it with the administrative privileges and then try starting the Apache and MySQL once again and it's going to work once you start both these services you can start all the other services in a similar way if you want to uh, see the logs you can click on this logs option and then you can see different kind of logs here if you want to change some configuration click on config here and then click on hdd.conf for example and from here you can also change a few settings for example on which port you want to run the XAMPP for server so by default it runs on on the port 80 and on the HTTPS it will run on port 443 if you want to change it you can just change it to some other port for example port uh, 8001 or something like this okay and when you save your code and restart your Apache server it will run on that port so for now I don't want to do that so I'm going to just close this so if uh, these two uh, services are running you can also go to your browser and here you can just write 127.0.0.1 and then press enter or you can just write local host here instead of port 127.0.0.1 it will also work and it's going to open this kind of uh, dashboard here you can click on php my admin and it's going to open the php my admin where you can create your databases and uh, tables so i can click on databases here which is going to open this and then i can just write the name of uh, the new database for example my uh, new db for example and then click on create it's going to create this new database and now i can create new tables here and then add columns in that table right if you want to uh, run some PHP file using XAMPP server then you can go to the location where it's installed so generally it's installed in C directory you can go to XAMPP folder and here there will be a folder called htdocs and here whatever PHP file you uh, add it will be used on your server right so for example I want to create a new route which will be called demo so I'm going to just uh, create a new folder here with the name demo and then inside this folder I can create a new PHP file so I can right click here and then I can open this folder in Visual Studio Code or any other editor and here I'm going to create a PHP file for example uh, hello.php and then press enter and now I just need to add a very simple hello world PHP script here save this file and then once again go to uh, your uh, web browser you can just write local host here and then forward slash demo because this is the directory we have created right so whatever directory you have created just uh, give the path of that so I, we have created this demo directory and then we have created hello.php so just write forward slash hello.php here and then press enter and it's going to show you hello world because this script is just echoing the hello world so this is how you can run your php files also using the XAMPP server so that's it for this video this is how you can install the XAMPP server on your windows operating system i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video